G'day guys, welcome back. I'm doing a project today for my daughter Christy who would like some purple tones. So I was thinking, well purple's very nice and there's lots of different shades of purple but I would like to add in just a pop of colour and I've picked this turquoise. So today I've got global paints and two Liquitex Basics paints. For my global I'm using, as I always do, three parts Floetrol to one part Global. For the Liquitex Basics, I'm using four parts Floetrol to one part Liquitex Basics. They mix up a lot thicker, so I always need more uh, Floetrol. So we have in the Global Purple Ultraviolet that one. This one is dioxazine purple. This one, it's more of a pinky shade but I think it'll still work well. It's called deep violet. And we have turquoise and then black and white. Okay, so that's all my colours. I'm going to do four cups and I'm going to do four flip cups. You've probably seen me do um, a three cup flip on a smaller canvas. The other one I did was a 50 centimetre by 60 centimetre. This one is a 40 centimetre by 80, so quite large. Not, not as large as some of them I've done, but large for a flip cup nevertheless. It's a 15 inch by 30 inch. And for the cells today, I'm using the Coconut Milk Hair Serum. Okay, and I've just put, I will just put one drop of this, the uh, coconut oil in each colour. I don't think I'll do the black and the white though, so it'll be one, two, three, four, five drops all up for the whole canvas. And if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that, oops, that was more than one, you'll know that I've been trying to cut down on my oils that I've been using. I don't want a mass of cells. You get too many cells and they all join in together and it just looks all wobbly because they're bumping into each other. I want some background and I want dotted cells here and there, hopefully nicely rounded shaped cells. So that's the plan. I'm going to give this a bit of a stir in, it's quite thick and I've only got the one drop so I do need it to disperse into the paint. It's a lovely colour this, I've never used it before, I think it's my new favourite. The paint sits on top and then drips off. It sits on top, drips off. And you can sort of see a little bit of a trace where it's hitting the paint and then it disappears. Hopefully this pinky purple will match in with the rest of my purples. I haven't done these colours before so we'll see how we go. Um, right, start with a little bit of white. I'll just put them next to each other so I can go cup to cup without dripping too much on the canvas. A little bit of white. And then I'll go some dark purple. Dioxidine, this is the darkest. And then the lightest purple. Just pouring them in. I probably have two layers of each by the looks of it. And then some of this pinky purple. Didn't make, well haven't got quite as much in there. I wasn't sure if it was going to take over or not that colour. Um, yes, I think I'll do a bit of the turquoise. I don't want the turquoise to take over. It's a purple painting, not a turquoise painting, so I don't want to do that much of it. It's 
some of this purple. And a little bit of black. Don't want a lot of black because I don't want mud. Just going to see if I can sort of layer it on the top rather than have it go all the way through. Okay, and start. Oops, I've got to leave some for the other cups, putting it all in the one cup. I did make a little bit of extra of this Liquitex Basics purple because I really love it. And a little bit of white in each. I did make up a little bit of extra white as well. I made up extra white and extra purple and a little bit more of the turquoise just in case I wanted some more. I wasn't sure how much paint I was going to use in these. Um, light purple next. Next to the bit of white. That'll be pretty. Give us a nice pale purple as well to go with the dark purples. Okay, that one's finished. And bit more of the turquoise now I want the turquoise next to this dark purple because those two are going to look really pretty together so I'll put that one in next some of the paint's sitting on top, some of it's falling through, that's okay. Okay, another empty one, a little bit more of this pinky purple. I'm going to do a little bit of black, just a little bit. Don't want too much black, it takes over. You can end up with mud. Oops, my end cup's a lot fuller than my cup down here. I have to put a little bit more colour in this cup. That one's quite full in comparison. Um, what can I use? A little bit more white. And a little bit more. Actually, no, I don't really want to put a lot more of that in. It's just going to have to be not as full. All right, let's get to flipping. I'll put full, medium, full, medium. All right and hopefully that's enough paint. Flip them over. Okay, little white cells appearing there which is a good sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the cups down and hopefully get a good coverage of paint so that I don't have to tilt too much. I don't really want to tilt side to side. I mean, I'll have to a little bit, but I don't want to do it a lot because I want to keep my linear patterns. So tilting back and forth mainly. Okay. And I'll leave some paint in the cup in case I need it later on. A 
use some of this leftover paint in the cups for the corners. Lots of cells. Didn't want all those little tiny cells, but what can you do? That's the flow troll that does that. Only thing I can do is, and I was thinking of experimenting with it, cutting down on the flow troll and putting some water in to thin it a bit. So that might be a future experiment. to use up all this paint. No, it's not really flowing. Okay. Right. Hope I've got enough to cover this gap here. We'll see. All right. I'm not going to torch. Plenty of cells. Get to tilting. Maybe I needed five cups because I've got a gap there. Anyway, we'll see. See what happens. It's going to go nice and slow. Try and get this area here to cover. black in a few spots just to help the paint flow. Got a little bit of black left over. A little bit there. And I'll just pop a little bit in the centre there. to help it flow in a little bit easier. I'll try for this corner over here, I think. do towards me first. I'll turn it around. Oh, it's quite heavy. Put it back on my little pen marks. I'm loving the colours though, wow. I'll see if I can get this corner first. There's still a lot of paint here. Probably did need five cups. I'm having to stretch quite a lot, unfortunately. Okay, bring the weight of the paint back again. Now, where next? I'm going to try and cover here. I will put a little bit more black in the middle though. I'm just going to thin my black out a little bit more. It needs to be really thin if you want to use it as a paint flower enhancer. <laughs> nice and thin so that it can 
do its job, flow well. Okay, let's see how we go with that. I don't mind a bit of black there. I've got darker areas anyway, so I don't mind that. Now, I just need to get this corner back this way a little bit. I can move to that corner there. Wherever we go. And back. Wow. I'm loving this. Probably shouldn't have put that extra bit in the middle there, that lighter bit. But I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough paint. Actually, I don't want to stretch it anymore. Come back this way. A little bit of black here just to cover up this bare patch of canvas. A couple of little bare patches on the side, but I can deal with those later. They're pretty much black, so there we go. Just fill them in with black. Beautiful. Mm, what's that? A lump. Get off. Now I need to turn it around. Although I daren't move it. Just bringing this line back because it's got a bit of a curve in it. So just bringing that back a little bit. Loving these colours. Let's put you back into frame. And I think I'm going to leave that. I did want to squish this big cell up a little bit. I'll try doing this, see if I can squish that up a bit, but not at the expense, nope, leave it, not at the expense of everything else. Okay, now I'm just going to give it a quick torch just to get rid of any bubbles. It's got some massive, massive cells here. I think I need to stir my silicone a little bit better next time. And I know I've got a couple of little blank spots in the canvas around on your side, but I'll fix them up later. Quick torch, pop any air bubbles, bring any more cells up that want to come up. It's a bit busy for me, I wasn't wanting it quite so busy. I think I've only got, what, what did I say, four or five, five drops of silicone in the whole thing. Let's see if I can get any cells to pop up in the middle of these big cells. Okay, that'll do. Loving it. Oh my goodness. I hope my daughter loves these colours. I don't think it's too much turquoise at all. It just adds that lovely little pop of contrast to, to the purples. I think I'm going to have to do more in this colour. So watch this space. I actually do want to do for Christy um, a 1.5 metre canvas. So this is a practice for one three times this size really. Oh well, twice the size. I'm just going to fix up my little edges here in the black. Black's a good colour to use as the contrast. I'm going to take you in for a close-up quickly before my battery runs out. Well, no, my memory on my card. I've only got 20 minutes to take. There we go. It's about as close as I can get you. So, what do you think? I just love, love, love those colours. Please join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. 
and uh, you can see all my videos there and you can have a chat with me um, I share lots of great ideas along with all our members you can see their work um, people practice these polls that I do and they put them up and they all talk to each other about them and you get some great tips and ideas so come along and join us we'd love to have you you don't have to be in Australia you can be anywhere in the world I do prefer it if you would speak English though <laughs> because I don't understand Spanish or French but um, everyone's welcome so please join and uh, I'll see you there and come back for the next video I'll do some more purples for you okay bye for now